All right, so you have your, your printout. You've trimmed off the edges. You have this long rectangle. Here's how we get it from that to a little folded hiking journal. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold down this, this center fold here, and I'm doing that before I glue because then when the back is all covered in glue and stuff, I don't have to mess around with trying to find the fold. I can just fold it and be done. I have a paper towel here on the counter, on my desk. It's a desk, not a counter. Sometimes it's a counter if I do this in my kitchen. So I did the center fold. I'm taking my bone folder and I'm going to go along that fold to make it really nice and crisp. Um, a bone folder is a bookmaking tool. You don't have to have a bone folder to do this. You can use a popsicle stick. You can use anything. You can use a Lego piece, just nice and crisp. You could use the, the bottom of the glue, I guess, if it's not gluey. Nice and crisp. You can use a seashell. Nice and crisp. You can use your tape dispenser. Nice and crisp. But just make it nice and crisp. You get the idea. All right, so once you have that center fold, you're gonna open up your paper. I like to put glue around the edge, down that center fold, and then you'll see I have a center fold here too, like going horizontally. That's from when I was using the paper cutter to cut around the sides here. So pick glue here, here, around the edge, and then a couple more lines just to get all the papers nice and uh, stuck together before you start folding. Mm. And I'm putting this on the paper towel because this step, I end up getting lots of glue outside the edges. So when I'm done, I can just take this, throw it away, and do the rest of my folding without getting glue on the pages. So I'm coming around the edges. And don't worry if your glue is a little bit chunky because you're going to use your bone folder to take care of that. Around the edges, do, do, do. You can make up a song if you want to. That song is now copyright Steph Calvert, so do not sing the Along the Edges sign. Along the edges, that song is mine. You make up your own song, or else I will find you. <laughs> and so a couple more lines, do, do. Make sure all those papers get nice and glued up. Next thing you're going to do. You already have that nice center fold there, so just fold it over. Make sure your corners all line up, and you're going to use your bone folder or tape dispenser or seashell or whatever flat thing. I don't know if your phone would be great because you'll get glue on your phone. Gross. Uh, maybe you could use a pair of sunglasses or, um, I don't know, maybe this hole punch. You could use a hole punch as your bone folder, uh, but I'm getting off track here. I'm using a bone folder. You could use whatever you like. Uh, you could use um, a stapler, I guess. Anyways, moving on. So you're gonna work from that center fold outwards and you're pushing the glue towards the edge of the pages and that smooths out your paper. It makes everything nice and stuck together. It evens out any bumps that your glue might've left behind. It just makes it just a really nice, everything is glued together. Once you have that part done, ooh, so nice. You can set your paper towel aside and your desk is still nice and clean. Yeah, it's a desk, not a counter. Sometimes I do work at a counter though, a kitchen counter. Okay, so once you have this, turn it over to where you see 13 and 14. You're gonna fold 14 up and then you're gonna start folding it up like this, just like a sleeping bag, except much neater. So, when I fold it up, as you start to roll it, it's going to get fatter and it's going to get harder and harder to line up with these fold lines here so that you have your cover right there. So what I'm going to do is as I'm folding up page number 12, I'm going to line it up with page 13's the top of interesting thing I saw. So we're going to go ahead and line it up there. I know that's not where the fold line is. Deal with it. Use your bone folder to make a nice crisp, crisp seam. And then you're going to do the same thing. So as you're folding up number 12, you're going to line that up with signs of animals on the trail. Here we go. And go ahead and crease that. And just keep working your way up. And you're going to start to notice that 
you're going to get closer and closer to that actual fold line. And as you get all the way up, So when you get up here to page one and two, where it says your hiking essentials and a checkbox for if you carried your own gear, you should be able to fold over that top and it looks like a pretty good cover and just fold that seam on that. You know, use your bone folder, stapler, tape dispenser, 1967 Chevy. Um, and there you go, you have a lovely little hiking journal that you can record all your hikes in. It's small enough to keep for every single hike. If you find you've got little lumpies in there, guess what? Bone folder. Use bone folder, the femur of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You could use a bottle of shampoo, preferably empty, cleaned, dried, anyways. And there you go. And that is your fabulous little hiking journal. And I want to see if you guys make any of these. So like, leave me links, reach out to me. And on all of these socials, I'm not on all the socials. I'm on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. And you can email me at stephcalvertart at gmail.com. Unless like, I don't know. What other socials should I be on? Probably none of them. Have a good day. <laughs>